Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you my wishlist for Micro 1.15. I've chosen to put it into categories, those being technical, items and gameplay, so it should be a bit easier to follow. Please be aware that these are just my wishes. You are very likely to have some different ones and probably not agree with some of the ones I have in this one as well. But feel free to leave a comment about what your ideas are, I would love to read them. With that said, let's get started. First up would be block placing. This is definitely the most important thing for me. The way we place blocks now is that we look at a certain phase of the block and it goes in that direction. This works, but it's extremely annoying in a certain amount of cases. Let's say we want to build a bridge. We've all done this. We hold down uh, shift or control in my case, and we just go this way until, and it's extremely difficult to place the blocks. And let's say we maybe want to build a cliff where we, go, we have to build like this, Oh no, then we can't go up, then we have to build scaffolding all the way up here and do like this. Or let's say we need to build a roof, and then we have to have... The roof is difficult to move about, so we have to create this bridge underneath. It's just really difficult. And there you can make an argument, well, we have the new scaffolding block now, which has different uh, different ways you can place the blocks on it. But that's not really... Uh, this, is, this helps, but it's not a solution. And I'm wondering... Uh, uh, well, a solution in my eyes would be to, to combine these. So when you use the blocks normally, then you're able to maybe hold down the ALT key and then switch between the ways you place the blocks. So if you hold down ALT, the way you place would be the same as you do on scaffolding. And when you do not hold... Uh, can I do this? Right. Yeah, and when you do not hold down ALT, you can place blocks like normal. Like that. I think this would be a really great way of improving uh, the way block placing works in general. Another thing that I really want added to the game is a new potion. You could call it a cloud potion. It will work like this. You drink it, and underneath you would appear a cloud, and it will basically unlock creative like flying while in survival. Now, adding something like this would have to be balanced. It shouldn't be a replacement for the elytra. The elytra is well suited for long distances, but it doesn't really work when you're trying to build. Again, when it comes to uh, again, block placing, you have to go upwards, it's quite annoying. So having a potion like this would be really great. But it shouldn't be so good that you could just use this instead of using the light right? like drink these all the time. So, how can we do this? My idea would be to create one of these potions you would have to sacrifice a diamond. A diamond isn't particularly rare, but it's rare enough so that you wouldn't spend all of your diamonds to create these potions. Which I, I personally feel like would be a, quite a good balance. And if Mojang feels like this is uh, this is too much, we don't want to add this, then please just add a command that's just slash fly true. Maybe maybe just everyone true. That way we are able to ourselves make commands and all data packs that are able to add these potions. We are not able to do that now, and it's a bit frustrating. The next thing I want to add might be a bit controversial. I personally feel like the Minecraft endgame could use a bit of an upgrade. At least in terms of the exploration part. There is really no reason to go explore, since most things you are able to get would get in uh, that are rare will get in these random chests and they don't really ever have anything that you need. They're not at least anything you can get can't get quite easily. So what I would like them to do is to add a new item. We could call it the ruby, which could spawn right here. And what would this be used for? Well, you will be able to create armor from that and will have basically exactly the same stats as diamond. The only difference would be that they would be able to have an extra enchantment on them. Which is why I feel like this would be extremely controversial, since Mojang probably won't add anything that's, so to say, better than diamond. The catch would be, that they, are, they are only able to spawn in the chests like these that spawn, and their chance would be very, very, very low. Like, so low that if you get on a server and you see anyone who has just a single, a single piece, like a pants or helmet, made of this, then it would be like, wow, okay, this guy has been playing for a while. That's at least something that I would like to see. And another small thing, please Mojang, ghost blocks are back, get it fixed quickly. <laughs> now for a couple more specific things. The first one being keybinds. If I want to get access to anything in my hotbar right here, then I would traditionally either use a scroll wheel, or I would click 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This works, but the problem is, if you want to get these top ones, the four ones right here, you have to click 6, 7 and above, right? And these are quite difficult to reach with your hand, 
and is so uncomfortable and inconsistent, me hitting 9 without looking at my keyboard is quite difficult. So, therefore, for example, I switch around so I use my mouse keys to use these ones. But if you played any MMO, you would traditionally use Alt 1, for example, to uh, reach the number 6 spot. But you're not able to do that. If I go here and click Alt 1, you'll see it will just choose Alt. This I would like to get fixed. With that said though, also, I've I have said I've changed these two buttons so they are used on my mouse, so I'm able to access these two quite quickly. But the problem there is with this though, if we just take these two right here. If I want to get this into my spot number one, I would just click the one button, see, I click the one now. But if I click the mouse button right here for to get into this one, this won't work. It's probably in here. Please fix. A change to the flower mechanics would be greatly appreciated as well. Normally when you place block in an area like this, if you place the block on the, glass, on the grass, then it would just get replaced. But you can't do the same with flowers and even create some next to them. Meaning that if you want to build an area where there's flowers, you have to go and remove all of them individually. And they have a quite small hitbox so that you can easily end up just hitting these ones instead. If you have a good uh, shovel or anything in your hand, this could easily happen. And it's just a simple small change that would be quite nice to have. That they get destroyed like the grass would if you place the block. Next up would be a change to the way beds work. They are quite annoying the way it works now, since that whenever you use it, you set your new spawn point right here. And if you have that in your main base, which most of you probably have, that means that when you come back from the end, you will spawn in your main base. Quite effective, quite smart. But let's say you're a bit away from your main base, maybe at a farm or somewhere else, and you want to sleep. Well, you can't do that, since that would set the new spawn point at wherever you're sleeping, right? And that can be quite difficult since they now have introduced the phantoms, so they will come for you if you do not sleep, and also you can't skip the night. Meaning that it's often more effective to not sleep, uh, to not sleep, rather than sleep, since you have to go back and use a lot of time to that. And since they have the phantoms, it just seems to conflict with each other. A simple change would just be to, when you go to bed, have a button that says, would you like to change this to your new spawn point? Yes, no. A better inventory system. That's definitely needed. There's so many new items in the game, and the, there keeps coming more. And the inventory is just, I'm almost tempted to say, too small now. There needs to be a way to have this easier accessible. I don't really have a lot of ideas on how to do so. One simple one could just be an auto sort button, that would help a little bit. And maybe if, let's say, we wanted to have it like a row of stone right here, then you were able to switch between the, uh, what you have in the 10 hotkeys. Again, by maybe pressing Alt or holding G down and use the scroll wheel. That way it would switch between these rows instead. Uh, but Mojang are quite a lot smarter than me, so they will probably have a lot better fit ideas. And the last of my ideas for now, which is again quite unlikely to happen, is a new dimension. For some reason they haven't added one yet, and I assume they have a reason why. But if you've ever played with the Ether mod, I currently don't have it installed, I actually don't know, I really know how to. But I remember playing it as a child and really liking the way it works. They could add a new dimension that is a lot like it, maybe have it focus on bosses that would create a lot of endgame content. But definitely a new dimension would be quite interesting to have. And currently these are all the ideas I have. I am very likely to figure out a few more as time goes by and if I have enough I probably will make another video. But these are the ones that I can think of at the current moment in time. As I said in the start of the video, if you have any I would love to hear them. And maybe we get a discussion going. And I would love to hear what you think about mine as well. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time.